using the list construct for returning multiple values from a function. A function can only return one value. If you want to return multiple values, this is a technique for doing it. First of all, let me just say one thing. When I say we're going to be able to return multiple values, I mean we're going to be able to return or at least end up with several variables as a returns from the function call. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Okay, here's the, a very simple function which demonstrates this. Okay, the function returns an array. Okay, that's all good and dandy. That returns multiple values. But the problem with that is it's kind of um, not very user-friendly because when you refer to the values being returned, it's all, you know, the first array element. You have to use the index, the zero element, the first. It, it doesn't have any meaning to it. What we want is we want to end up with variables. Okay, so we return an array. Now outside, okay, see we, we're calling the function, but this whole statement here is a new construct which I'm not familiar with, but it's very easy to understand. Basically, the construct contains the word list, it has an equal sign, and then it has the function call which returns the array. Now what's it doing? It's assigning the zero element to dollar zero variable, the element with the index 1 is being assigned to a variable called 1, and similarly for 2, okay? Now, these variable names can be more meaningful than 0, 1, and 2. No matter what, they're going to be more meaningful than, you know, just assigning the return value to an array and then saying array sub 0, array sub 1, array sub 2. Now we have three variables with unique names and we used the list construct.